and welcome to Curator's Corner. I'm Anna Camp and I'm a curator here at the Nevada State Museum and I'm also our tribal liaison and I work with the 27 tribes here in Nevada. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about Datsolali and this particular basket right here which was made by Datsolali, also known as Louisa Kaiser. So here's a picture of her here with uh, several of her first baskets that she made for a store called The Emporium, which was here in Carson City. She wove baskets for the Cohen family, Amy Cohen and Abe Cohen, who owned The Emporium. And the Emporium was a shop where they sold clothing, but also curios, Native American curios, in particular Native American basketry. And Dato Lali wove for the Cohen family exclusively. And so I've been working for the past couple of years with the Washoe Cultural Resource Advisory Committee on a basket gallery that we're going to have here at the State Museum um, upstairs in our basketry gallery. And we've been working on picking the baskets that we would like to feature in this first exhibit, which we'll call Wasegua, means workings of the Washoe. And so this was one of the baskets that we chose for this gallery. And it's very interesting for multiple reasons. You know, I'm always looking for not just what the objects are and how they look, but also some of the stories behind some of the objects. And so this is LK2. The Cohens kept a ledger at the Emporium of all of the Datsolali baskets that were made and that were sold through the Emporium, LK2 being Louisa Kaiser II. And this basket is made out of willow and bracken fern. It has a bracken fern design here. So these are coiled baskets, and you can see that this shape is a little different than the utilitarian cooking washo basket that you would see before culture contact. And this shape is called a dega cup shape. So the way that these baskets are made, here's an example. You can only see two rods here, but there's three actually, and the three rods are stacked together, and then they're sewn with split willow thread, and that attaches those rods together as you move around in a circle. You can see this small hole here in the middle. Um, with a cooking basket, you would want to make sure to get that hole plugged so that you could use it for cooking with hot rocks. Dato Lali, in particular, um, would often sew her starts shut, as you can see here. But she had a couple ways of starting her baskets. So as I mentioned, three willow rods that are then sewn together with willow thread. So each one of these baskets that comes with a number also comes with a card or a certification of identity or authenticity. And so when people would purchase an authentic Datsolali basket, they would also receive this certificate showing that it was an authentic Datsolali. So this would say LK2 on it. It would also say how many stitches per inch. Datsolali was known for making very tightly woven baskets, so that was very important to the buyer. And also how long it took her to make the basket, how much it sold for, as well as um, the name of the basket. So this basket was called Death of Our Ancestors, which you can see here on this tag. We're unsure about whether or not Dato Lali actually named her baskets or it was Amy Cohen and then later Margaret Cohen, um, Abe's second wife, who would actually give the baskets names to make them more appealing to the European buyer. And so with the basket, you would get this uh, certification of authenticity and you would also get Dato Lali's handprint, which was essentially her signature. You can see that here. So this basket was purchased by Dr. Lee. He was a physician here in Carson City, and he was also a collector of all things of interest. And he collected everything from fossils to fine china and Native American basketry, which was his favorite. He was a Civil War veteran um, that came to uh, Carson City or to Nevada in about the 1870s. Because he was a collector, and very interested in Native American basketry, he also kept a ledger. And so in the ledger, he gives this basket the number 72, and he talks a little bit about um, waiting around anxiously for Datsolali to finish this basket. 
And so he said for 35 days, he would stop by every day at the Emporium until it was finished. And then he purchased it at that point for about $20. So as I mentioned, this basket is made out of willow and bracken fern. The decoration here, this linear design, is bracken fern root. And bracken fern root isn't naturally this dark color, but it is dyed. And they would dye this by burying it in sulfurous mud, or historically, the Washa women would take it and put it into a tin can with rusty nails to give it that dark color. These linear designs, which Datsolali's earlier baskets um, have these particular types of designs. Later in time, she becomes a little bit more experimental with her designs and creates more of a floating design. Thank you for attending Curator's Corner and stay tuned for more content in the near future. Mm -hmm.